Hello everyone, my name is Martha Tome and I'm going to talk about counterpoint error detection tools for optical music recognition of Renaissance polyphonic music. Renaissance polyphonic music documents tend to look like this. They are written in menstrual notation and early music notation system. They are typically written with the voices in separate parts rather than having them being lined up vertically in a score layout like the one on the right. Another characteristic of the notation is that interpreting the duration of the notes requires a specialized knowledge since duration is context dependent in triple meter pieces like this one. So what we want to do is to facilitate encoding of Renaissance polyphonic music documents like the one on the left into symbolic scores like the one on the right. For this purpose, we use a semi-automatic process consisting of a pipeline of two MIR tools. For the optical music recognition step, the first of the two, we use Moret. Moret recognizes the symbols in the page automatically, and the user can use that interface to manually correct the misidentified symbols. And for the second step, the automatic scoring up step that interprets mensural notation and lines up the voices in a score, we use the measuring polyphony editor or MP editor. Here, the user can manually correct the results of the voice alignment as well. Most of these corrections will be editorial in nature, which means that there are corrections of errors made by the scribe. Our research question is, while OMR frameworks like Moret are optimized for the manual correction of the results in this first step, can we also facilitate the correction of the scoring up results in this second step? Scholars have proposed the idea of using counterpoint rules to detect errors in an OMR pipeline before, but so far this idea hasn't been explored. In this paper, we're evaluating whether marking illegal dissonances according to counterpoint rules makes the correction of the scoring up results more efficient. Here you can see the MP editor with legal and illegal dissonances marked on different colors. Legal dissonances are marked in blue, and you can see some examples here of passing tones, neighbor tones, suspensions, and agents. On the other hand, illegal dissonances are marked in orange, like the ones there in the score. It, illegal dissonances are dissonances that do not fall in any of the legal categories. So to the question, those marking illegal dissonances make the correction of the scoring up results more efficient? The answer is yes. Some of our findings reveal that marking illegal dissonances reduces the correction time at least to a half because rather than going through this whole score and figure out which node causes the misalignment of these voices, you can just look at the nodes preceding the first orange label, allowing for a more focused search for errors, since the nodes in this region are the ones responsible for that orange label in the first place. Moreover, Marking illegal dissonances also increases the accuracy of the corrections. So looking at the same example as before, we can see that the cadence following that region does not line up and it reveals that we have to cut the alto by a minimum. So you can play with different solutions and see the effects in the dissonance labels. I can cut this rest, for example, by a minimum uh, and that will eliminate the following orange labels, but at the same time, it will generate a few new ones. So this is not the right solution. The right solution is to cut this semi-brief by a minimum. When I do that, you can see that no orange labels appear anymore and the cadence is lining up. Finally, marking illegal dissonances even helped correcting OMR errors that went unnoticed on the previous stage of the pipeline. In conclusion, this is the first attempt at using counterpoint rules to find errors in an OMR pipeline, and it has shown positive results already, reducing the correction time and increasing the accuracy of the corrections. So if you want to find more details about that, please visit our poster. Thank you.